Welcome back to Sports Now. Pete Versich, kind enough to stay with us after a long, long night at U.S. Bank Stadium. Very kind of you to fun do night. something like this. It's always fun. Anytime there's football on, it is fun. All right. And speaking of fun, the Vikings have had a happy camp to this point. I mean, to deal Hunter, after that deal was done, there really wasn't much drama. And there is it tonight as we speak. But there are a couple of players that may want to get paid before the season kicks off on September 10th against Tampa. One of those, tight end T.J. Hawkinson. He's in the final year of his rookie deal. And a lot of times, teams pay up the, on these guys. And he's <laughs> certainly proved it to this point. Uh, What's going on here with well, TJ? Well, I, you know, that I don't know. I, I don't know what his demands are, you know, and I don't know what the Vikings are, 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 are you know, willing to do. I do know this, though. You, you have him in, a, in his year before a free agent, right, his fifth year, so he's going to be highly motivated to put up some good numbers and to play well. So I think you've kind, you kind of have him. It's it's just that it's that age-old gamble, right, to right. say that. But if he has a little bit of an off year, then maybe we can re-sign him, and, you know, for a little bit less. Um but if he goes out and blows it up this year, which is good for us, but at the same time, it's going to cost you know cost you a lot more money to you know to keep him around. So um, I don't know. I I don't know what their cap situation is at the moment. So you hope that it's not a one or the other type situation between he and Jefferson. Right. Uh, you had the ability to pay them both, but um, you know Hawkinson was a big shot in the arm when we got him. He's here because of the coverages that we were seeing on Jefferson, Je Justin Jefferson, the two-man and all that. So when you have a safety and a corner on Justin, then what are you going to do with the tight end? You're going to put a linebacker on him? Good luck. You'll never survive, right? <laughs> you know, safety, yeah, he's five foot eight. You know, good luck with that, too. Right? <laughs> right. So the two of them, I think the two of them work very, very well together. All right, speaking to Justin, uh, you know, the Vikings, they do have his control for another couple of years, but Quasey said this offseason, he doesn't want to be the GM to watch this guy leave. He wants him <laughs> as a Viking forever. Why don't they just get this done? Because now they said, well, we'll just kind of sit back and watch. Well, it's just going to cost more every true, minute that true, goes by. True. And then, and I guess in this day and age, you, you actually see some guys that, that, that the quarterbacks, especially that say, well, you pay me a little less and I want to, you know, because I don't want to make all the money and not have anything left for anyone else. Um, if, at least with JJ, you know, there, it, it's still a team sport. So you need to have someone to throw the ball to them. Right, so who's that going to be? What's the plan for that? What's that going to look like? You know, um, and then the other part of it, then again, is like keeping TJ around. If TJ's here, Justin Jefferson's going to have a better season. He's going to have an, a little bit easier of a time. You know, that's the whole thing with like with Addison and with KJ Osborne. It's it's a it's having other options. So if everybody just wants to dial in on Jefferson, you can go somewhere else. Right. If they fall asleep, JJ is going to make you pay. Right, he's going to make you pay for it. But if there's no other threat out there, and it's as simple as just you know cover him with two guys and away we go, that's <laughs> not you know, he's not going to be happy that way either, right? So exactly, they, at least they have a little more time with with JJ in that respect. Um, but that's where you know the GM. I don't, you know, I'm not, I haven't been a GM, but do you, you know how much of the overall strategy do you want to share with the players? Let them know, kind of, hey, this is what we're looking at, this is what we want to do. Um, this is all we can do right now. Right. So no, it, it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. But JJ has been such a good sport about this the whole way. It's amazing through. how well he's handled all. You know, his the everybody knows right. who he is. I'm in Chicago, coaching the 11 year olds, and they weren't they're wearing you know Justin Jefferson jerseys. I mean, he's <laughs> everywhere, and it's just amazing to me. It's just pretty amazing how well in this day and age how well he's handled all the attention. It's a lot like how you do it when you're doing Viking games, Pete. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Really, I Appreciate mean, everybody knows who you are. I've seen people with headsets on that say Bursich on the back. Flattery. It's really cool. Flattery will really get cool. you nowhere. <laughs> I know. All right. Well